Hello and thank you uh, for joining us for this, uh, for this video today. My name is Bob Rabbit. I'm the Director of Engineering for ITS Partners. ITS Partners is a, uh, a semantic national platinum partner focused specifically on the endpoint management suite of products within the, uh, within the, semantic, family of, uh, the semantic family of products. Um, as it relates to that, uh, ITS really focuses on three main areas um, as it relates to implementing the software within, company, uh, within the different organizations we interact with, uh, specifically implementing the best practices we've garnered over the years uh, within the Alteris framework and endpoint management framework, uh, impl increasing employee knowledge of the uh, organizations that we work with, uh, and then finally relating the, the, the information and the, uh, the projects specifically that we're implementing back to the business drivers of the overall organization. So again, delivering those business benefits back to the, uh, back to the organization. Today I'm, gonna, I'm going to be covering the Service Desk 7 product from a high level overview perspective. Uh, for those of you who are not uh, familiar with the Service Desk 7 product and what it brings to the table. So Service Desk 7, um, uh, out of the box, has four core processes um, that, that are pre-built and have a pre-built set of forms and actions associated with them to allow organizations uh, to, to have a, real good, a really good starting place for, uh, you know, for, for performing these different functions within their organization. So those four core processes are incident management, problem management, change management, and release management. Each of those can, can individually, uh, can be implemented individually. So if all you're interested in is incident management and all the activities that, that go along with incident management, you have full capabilities to, to simply use incident management. But they're also interdependent, right? So if we want to take a look at a broader um, uh, or more mature ITIL model and think about incidents driving problems, uh, which then lead to change requests and release um, uh, release schedules and things of that sort, those type of interactions are, are, are available as well and, and fully supported within the system. Now something I should, I, I should definitely mention that um, uh, again um, is the idea of a process, right? So as we look at these four core processes, the idea is that so, uh, Service Desk 7 will guide you through a specific set of forms and functions within a given process, really trying to emphasize and really kind of uh, um, forcing you into uh, a, a particular process. Now that being said, the tool itself obviously provides the ability uh, to customize and tweak the process as necessary. We'll talk about that here in a second. Um, but the idea here is let's have a standardized process that everybody's going to follow as opposed to uh, just kind of the wild, wild west where everybody does their own thing, right? So as we think about incident management, it moves through a, through a discrete set of steps Based on your uh, by, based on your organizational uh, organization's needs and wants, uh, but again, everybody follows that process, right? Same thing for problem change and release management, right? Everybody's following those those core set of processes. Out of the box, there are presets, uh, forms, and fields for each of those processes that are unique to each of those processes, which again is very key because as we look at the information required for say an incident as opposed to the information required for a, a change request, it's, a, it, it's two different sets of information, right? So again, Service Desk 7 is really all about providing a, um, uh, a unique set of fields per, um, uh, per process. So again, you can really uniquely, really uniquely work through each of those processes. Uh, one, other, one other thing we should mention here is the ability as you go through those processes, um, to specifically assign tasks to key individuals within the process. So again, as I have something to accomplish, say within the incident management process, it shows up in my task list. Once I'm complete, it drops out of my task list, moves on to the next step. So again, very much allows you to, to enforce a, a, a global process within your organization. Some of the, some of the other features that I, wanna, I want to introduce here um, are things like the self-service portal. Again, the, the whole idea where everybody logs into the same URL, into the same portal, and based on the permissions, uh, based on the permissions model, you will only have access to the items that you've been given, uh, you've been given rights to, right? So, this, so the end users can log in, view just the, just the items they're, they're supposed to be able to view, um, submit an incident request. Within that incident request, it's tailored specifically to them as an end user, so it's not every field within uh, within Service Desk, it's just the core set of fields that, uh, th that those end users need to be able to access and fill out for uh, the process to continue. 
Now again, I should mention, I'll mention here again, the customizability of the interface here. Uh, very, uh, very, very flexible interface from the standpoint if there are certain fields you want to add to a particular form or you want to remove from a form or maybe you want to enforce the use of the knowledge base, right? So as you go through the incident management process and an end user submits a ticket, before they submit the ticket, you can actually require them to go search the knowledge base, right? So some very, uh, some very key functionality there um, that's, again, built, there out of the, built in out of the box in, into Service Desk 7, as well as uh, giving you the capability to, uh, to modify those processes as needed. Um, there's built-in survey capabilities, again, very customizable, gives you the ability once a ticket is complete to, um, uh, to present a set of questions for the end user or whoever is involved within the, uh, uh, within the ticket based on your requirements to go through and answer those questions and have that uh, reported back. And, and, and then from there, you can, you can take a look at satisfaction surveys and satisfaction results and um, uh, utilize that information in an ongoing manner to, uh, to again, improve processes. And then wrapping all this together would be the service catalog, which again is a central repository of all of the services your, your organization delivers uh, so that again, based on, based on the security model, anybody can go in and, and, and access the different functions, right? Whether that's making a change request or submitting a new incident, um, so on and so forth. The final thing that I want to mention here is the, is the, are the underpinnings of the service desk solution, and that is the workflow, uh, workflow solution product. Uh, so Workflow Solution is a business process automation tool, which is a very generic uh, way of saying it's, a, it's an automation tool, right? So what it does is it allows you to tie people, processes, and technologies together in one unique interface, one, one centralized interface, um, and, and do so in a very graphical manner, right? So as you're looking at processes, say the incident problem, process or the change process, if there are specific changes to that process you want to make, you do so within a visual uh, within a visual interface, very, very much like Visio, obviously much more, uh, much more complicated and, and technical uh, than that, but from a look and feel perspective, very much like that. Um, and, and then obviously, you know, the, the workflow solution gives the ability um, to, to even extend and enhance beyond, um, uh, beyond the service desk as well, right? So if we want to take a look at integration to maybe um, other tool sets, whether that's Active Directory or an HR system or what have you, a workflow solution does give you that uh, give you that ability as well. So again, workflow solution is the underpinning of Service Desk solution, and Service Desk solution uh, pro does provide that out of the box uh, uh, out of the box processes, incident problem change and release management, and also gives you the ability to uh, to customize uh, the, those processes as needed as well. Again, thank you for for watching our video today. If there are any questions, please don't hesitate to contact us. Thanks.